Hi there, welcome to Razor Random where I talk about hair care, skin care, and other self-care products. Today I will be reviewing the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. My name is Jonathan, and like I said, I will be reviewing the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. Disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. I purchased this with my own money. This is my own opinion. Uh, I'm also not a skin expert, so I encourage you to do your own research. However, I have used this product multiple times, so I'm going to give a review on it. This specific bottle is 30 milliliters, and according to the label, it is clinical formulations with integrity, high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. The packaging itself is pretty standard. It's just a frosted glass bottle with a glass dropper. Now, before I go any further, I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again. If you have a dropper product and you see videos of people on TikTok and YouTube, you know, putting it on their face and Instagram, uh, don't do that. I mean, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but I wouldn't suggest you do that because when it touches your face, you've got bacteria on your face, and then when you put the dropper back into the bottle, it's then contaminating pretty much everything you're gonna be putting on your face. And that just doesn't sound healthy. When I use it, I just drop it into my hands, making sure not to touch the dropper, but we'll get into that. So what exactly is niacinamide? It is a form of vitamin B3, which is an essential nutrient, which can be found in food. However, there are synthetic forms. It protects the skin barrier, it increases the resiliency, and it improves the texture and makes your pores appear smaller. It also helps balance your skin's oil production, making it good for pretty much all skin types. Their website states, niacinamide is indicated to reduce the appearance of skin blemishes and congestion. A high 10% concentration of this vitamin is supported in the formula by zinc salt of something that's totally unpronounceable acid to balance visible aspects of sebum activity. Independent studies show niacinamide is also an effective ingredient for brightening skin tone. Just a side note, if you have a vitamin C serum in your skincare routine and you want to use this, I would use them at altering times. It pretty much use vitamin C at night and then use niacinamide in the morning. It's not going to do much. It's actually going to do the opposite of much because this is going to affect the way that the vitamin C is efficient on your skin. I will say it does have a little bit of a slimy texture when you immediately put it on your skin, but it absorbs pretty fast. Also, if you've got a beard like me, make sure you're moisturizing it up in that skin. Once it is fully absorbed into your skin, you can then use your moisturizer. Now, I will say with this niacinamide, if you use too much, you might look a little bit shiny. Also, you might look a little bit shiny after you immediately put it on. I had a Zoom call with uh, some coworkers and I had just put this on and my face looked shiny as hell on a webcam, but I promise if you put on the right amount and you wait like 10, 15 minutes, you're gonna look great. You're gonna love it. Now let's talk about ingredients. I'm going to highlight three ingredients. The first being niacinamide. I know we already kind of talked about what it in itself does, but uh, niacinamide also has anti-inflammatory properties, which helps reduce your skin stress, helps reduce redness, which makes it pretty good for acne. It also reduces oil and sebum production on your skin and brightens the skin, which is effective against dark spots. The next ingredient I want to talk about is zinc PCA. This is a synthetic skin conditioning ingredient which is derived from zinc. And research has shown that it does have anti-aging properties. So if you got, you know, wrinkles and fine lines, might want to give this a try. Like our last ingredient, this also helps reduce redness, so it just makes it all the better. And it actually addresses the problem of blemishes as well. The last ingredient I want to talk about is pentylene glycol. This is a synthetic humectant, humectant meaning it's pulling hydration from your environment into your skin, but it can also be used commonly in skincare products as a solvent and a preservative. It is both water and oil soluble, <laughs> that's all, soluble, soluble. And it has antimicrobial properties, which is great for, uh, you know, products like this, which can get contaminated if you're touching on the eyedropper and then shoving it back in the bottle. Overall, 
I love this product. Uh, this is my first bottle. This was the second product that I ordered from The Ordinary, but it's accessible, it's affordable, the ingredients are sim relatively simple, and um, I don't know, I just, I really like it. I can actually see the difference when I use this. On top of all that, it is good for pretty much all skin types, so um, uh, this one is a game changer. If this is something that you want to try, I'm going to leave a link in the video description down below. Full disclosure, full transparency, if you do click on that link and you purchase through that link, it is an affiliate, uh, and I would make a cut from that. Just saying, again, this video is not sponsored, that's just an affiliate link in case you were thinking about buying it. Thank you so much for watching my review of The Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. Comment below, have you used this product? Did you like the product? Did you not like the product? Do you have any alternatives? Let me know, I wanna know. If you found this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you want to see me review other self-care products. This is Razor Antum, I'm Jonathan, and I will see you next time.